Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you how to create and animate film strip videos in Premiere Pro, as you can see. So, let's get started. Now, we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see, I have already imported a PNG film strip frame to the timeline. You can download this film strip frame from pixabay.com. It's totally free for commercial use. I will give the link to the video description. And here, you can see four different frames. For these four frames, we need to take four photos or videos. And here, you can see, I have already got four different photos. Now, we have to add a solid background. That's why, move this layer in video layer 6. Next, we have to click on this new item icon. Then, select the color matte. Next, click on OK. Now, I am going to select white color. You can use any color that you like. And now, click on OK. Now, we have to drag and drop this color matte to the timeline in video layer 1. And, extend the layer. Now, we have to place four photos inside four film strip frames. Now, we have to drag and drop photo 1 to the timeline in video layer 2. Next, extend the photo layer. Now move over to the effect controls panel. Now, make the scale value around 33. Now, I am going to place this photo 1 in this left side frame. That's why, make the X position value around 212. Now, we have to mask the photo to place properly inside the frame. That's why, we have to zoom the program monitor. Now, from the opacity panel, we have to select this pen tool. Then, we have to create our mask properly. Now we are done. Now, you can see, our mask is complete. And, the photo has been placed properly, inside the frame. Next, move over to the project panel. Then, drag and drop this second photo, to the timeline, in video layer 3. Next, extend the photo layer. Now move over to the effect controls panel. Now, make the scale value 33. Now, I am going to place this photo too, in this frame. That's why, make the X position value, around 745. Now, we have to mask the photo, to place properly, inside the frame. Now, from the opacity panel, we have to select this pen tool. Then, we have to create our mask properly. Now we are done. Now, you can see, our mask is complete. And, the photo has been placed properly, inside the frame. In this way, we have to place all the photos, inside the frames. Now we are done. All the photos have been placed properly, inside frames. Now, we have to nest, all the layers. That's why, we have to select all the layers. Then, right click, and, select nest. Next, I'm going to give the nested sequence name. By the way, this video is sponsored by Artlist. Artlist is a highly curated, royalty-free music, and sound effects platform, for every video creators. Artlist offers over access to unlimited downloads of over 22k quality songs and 27k sound effects that are updated daily. Songs are categorized and curated by modes, genres, video themes and instrumentals. You can choose a subscription tier that fits your creative needs. The biggest benefit of Artlist is, once you download it, you can use it for lifetime. It is super easy to find the perfect song for your project. Exclude and add different category filters to your search. Use the similar songs filter, sort by vocals, BPM and duration. The most benefit is, if you subscribe through my link, you will get two extra months free. So, start creating amazing videos with unlimited music and sound effects. Thank you so much to Artlist for sponsoring this video. So, let's go back to the tutorial. Again, we have to add a background. That's why, move this main scene layer one track above. 
Now move over to the project panel. Then, drag and drop this color mat to the timeline in video layer 1. Then, extend the layer duration. Next, select this main scene layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Now we have to create a mask in this layer. From the opacity panel, we have to select create four point polygon mask to create our mask. Now, you can see in the program monitor, it has created a mask. Now, we have to select two of the corners. As you can see, both of these corners are filled in solid blue. Now, at this point, we have to click and press shift. And, it will lock into place. Now, we can drag it over, just like that. In the same way, expand the other side. Select two of the corners. As you can see, both of these corners are filled in solid blue. Now, at this point, we have to click and press shift. And, it will lock into place. Now, we can drag it over, just like that. In the same way, we have to expand all sides. Now, we are done. Our mask is ready. Now, we have to make the mask feather value 0. Now move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is an offset effect. Now, drag and drop this offset effect, to this main scene layer. Next, move over to the Effect Controls panel. Now, move the playhead, to the beginning, of the layer. After that, from the offset effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, of the shift center, to enable the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead, 60 frames forward. And then, make the X position value, around 3370. Next, right click on this second keyframe and then, select Ease In. Again, right-click on this first keyframe. And then, select Ease Out. Now, we have to open the graph panel. Next, select the second keyframe. And, move this handle, to the left. Now, we have to move the playhead, 15 frames forward. Then, click on this icon, to enable the third keyframe. After that, we have to move the playhead, at 6 seconds and 7 frames. Then, click on this icon, to enable the last keyframe. After that, make the X position value, around 960. Now, we have to open the graph panel. Then, Select this last keyframe. And now, move this handle to the left. Now we are done. So, let's preview. Now, you can see, the smooth animation. Now, I am going to add a little bit zoom, and rotation effect, to this animation. As you can see. So, let's go back to the tutorial. Now, move over to the project panel. And now, we have to create an adjustment layer. Next, drag and drop this adjustment layer, to the timeline, in video layer 3. Next, select this adjustment layer, and move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a transform effect. Now, drag and drop this transform effect, to the adjustment layer. And then, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, we have to move the playhead, at 1 second. Then, from the transform effect, click on this stopwatch icon of the scale, to enable the first keyframe. And, make the scale value, around 120. After that, move the playhead, 40 frames forward. And then, make the scale value, around 190. Next, right click on this second keyframe, and then, select ease in. Again. Right click on this first keyframe, and then, select Ease Out. Then, we have to open the graph panel. Next, select the second keyframe. And, move this handle, to the left. After that, 
move the playhead to the beginning of the layer. Then, click on this stopwatch icon of the rotation to enable the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead 60 frames forward. And now, click on this icon to enable the second keyframe. And, make the rotation value around 4. Next, right click on this second keyframe. And then, select Ease In. Again, right click on this first keyframe. And then, select Ease Out. Then, we have to open the graph panel. Next, select the second keyframe. And, move this handle to the left. Then, move the playhead, 15 frames forward. And, click on this icon, to enable the third keyframe. And finally, move the playhead, at 4 seconds and 3 frames. Then, click on this icon, to enable the fourth keyframe. And, make the rotation value 0. Next. We have to open the graph panel. Now, select the last keyframe. And, move this handle, to the left. Now we are done. Now, we have to select this main scene layer. And, we have to make the scale value, around 85. Now, you can see the changes in the program monitor. Now we are done. In this way, you can animate the film strip video. So, let's preview. In this way, you can create and animate film strip videos in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.